We are Comic Con 2015. I'm here with the Laser Team. Hey, Bernie, Colton, Alan, Matt. Uh, Bernie and Matt and I are old friends from uh, Rooster Teeth from Red vs. Blue. Go back. back. What was the thing you did for Lost? Like you did the, the theme song. The for official Lost? theme song for Lost. That's that was uh, crazy. What? Yeah, for yeah. Comic Con. Yeah, they had this big thing for it and everything. It was crazy. It was cool. Yeah. But more, you know, more importantly, you know, I got to walk around in the Red vs. Blue armor. Uh, you know. Uh, yep. With, with you guys and Joel and Kathleen and everyone. Yeah. So, uh, that was an amazing Comic Con experience for me, but more importantly, now we're 2015. You guys are working on a crazy new project. Uh, let's let's talk about the, the genesis of, of Laser Team. Um, how, well, how did this come out? It all started with helicopters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was so, can we make a movie about helicopters circling? Good. <laughs> Sorry, no. I'm derailing this interview. It's okay. <laughs> but the genesis Laser was. Team. I mean, you you've seen Rishi Productions over the course of the last yeah. decade or so. You know, we always want to push the envelope. Even with Red vs. Blue, when we first started the show, uh, it was a new kind of animation that literally anybody could have replicated by picking up a game off the shelf and just doing it themselves. But anybody could do that, so a lot of people did do that. So we even had to evolve our shows like Red vs. Blue. We always wanted to stand out, you know, be something above and beyond what everyone else was doing online. And so as guys who have a passion for feature filmmaking, we always had a feature film for a project that we were going to make and crowdfunding made that possible and that movie was Laser Team. And so now, where are you in the production process for Laser Team? I think Alan's almost done editing. I'm getting there. I mean, I'm on, a, I'm on a movie, Dell. Right? I'm on a Dell laptop, <laughs> so it's. Uh, Dude, you're getting a Dell? Yeah, yeah. It's slow going, but we're getting there. Uh, 2018. <laughs> we're planning on delivering. We're not supposed to talk about release dates just yet, but 2018. Yeah. 2018 yeah. sounds good. Look for it. You'll have it by then. <laughs> But Matt, that's all Matt's bailiwick. Matt's been oh, that's, deep, oh, deep in the weeds for the last six months. I thought somebody else was handling it. I actually thought Alan was doing it. <laughs> oh, I guess we don't have a movie. <laughs> I've just been slacking off. No, uh, first one's going great. I mean, um, you know, it's a very visual effects intensive movie. Uh, and so we've been um, working on the visual effects for like the last six months, seven months. Um, and they're going great. Uh, we've got a sneak preview tonight at Comic-Con of a little scene. Uh, that I think will show off kind of the... Big scene. Big scene, thank you. There are, no, scene, small there are no small scenes in Laser Team. Every yeah. scene ends with an explosion. It starts with an explosion. It's all explosions all the time. Explosion Team is the original name of the movie. And the town is catching Laser Team. Let me change the helicopter the Helicopter Team. Helicopter team. <laughs> helicopter team. <laughs> no, it's going great. Um, this movie is definitely Michael Bay approved. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's going to be awesome. So let's talk about Alan and Colton, your roles in the film. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your characters and how you We joined? play twins. <laughs> uh, <laughs> identical, <separated from. laughs> identical twins. Identical twins. Uh, well, I play a character named Herman, who's one of the members of the Laser Team, who's sort of an out of work, uh, uh, unemployed uh, moron who drinks too much and smokes cigarettes. Uh, so he's perfect to become a hero. Uh, I think that. unemployed implies that you were looking for work. I think that's <laughs> right. Non-employed. Non-employed. <laughs> unemployable, I should have said. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, you know, the, the beginning of the movie, you meet me, and uh, I'm, I'm a dick, and uh, I don't I don't care about anything. Maybe I learned something. Yeah, the, the Laser Team characters that uh, you know, we have, uh, our, our flaws are on the surface. They're very apparent. Uh, so, you know, Colt's character and my character are very flawed people, but Alan actually plays Adam, who's... A unique character, I think, for the film is like really nuanced. And your flaws are not necessarily they're well masked yeah. that way. <laughs> the flaws are internal. Yeah, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for him to overcome. Uh, pride is a big issue for him. You know, he, the thing I love about the story is that I play this character that in, in a lot of ways similar to what I've done before in the past, but. Uh, What's different is that this, this character doesn't get everything he wants. He doesn't win. He's not invincible. So uh, so his fate changes in the, you know, through the course of the film, and, and, and he's forced to sort of mentor and put his put his pride aside and mentor these uh, complete morons as uh, as, well, as idiots, with literally these people. stupid, the dumb, worst, worthless, worst people in the world. I mean, it doesn't get any any lower than. A lot of screen time, though. <laughs> 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 it's like so sad. Dude, jeez, man. Yeah. You don't have to say that. But when we, when we wrote this part of it, we were hoping to find 
somebody just like him. Where you know, here's the part where it's, it's yeah. we wanted somebody who's used to playing action heroes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a small build, you know. It's like here's he the was part. Aquaman. He was Aquaman. Yeah, he actually has an action figure based on. Him. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> he is. He is the biggest and best uh, of superhero. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. You know, you know this. Oh, Aquaman's great. I yeah, mean, yeah. He's the, is the, got the most lethal powers Deadly. of every Deadly. superhero. Oh, yeah, and he yeah. took a lot of that to the set for Laser Team. Like, if we ever had a fish on set or a dolphin, he could talk to it. It was yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah. He trained for months, years to play that part. Surprising right? how many times we had dolphins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> craft service. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delicious. yeah it's, it's delicious. <laughs> so good. <Please. laughs> Don't. Don't message us about that. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a lot of the other uh, Rooster Teeth mainstays uh, joining the film, or is it more behind the scenes? Well, we, uh, you know, just like our approach with Red vs. Blue, starting way back in the day, um, because the, the show was based in Halo, we didn't want to make it about Halo. Or because it's in a video game, we didn't make it about it. That's those who think. We want people to think they have to understand a video game in order to watch a show. And likewise, for this, we want people to think that... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we want people to think that they had to be steeped in the Russian universe in order to see this movie. This is geared for a much broader audience, but at the same time, it's enormously rewarding if you are a Russian fan. So, you know, every moment in the film, you're going to see something in the background or in sides that's related to Russian TV. So you'll catch a lot of things. And you guys have been doing live action shorts for a while now. Yeah. Uh, still using the red camera, you know, doing a lot of HD development. Mm -hmm. This one was shot on the Epic, I believe. We actually, yeah, we used every flavor. Actually, Red was really, really nice to us. Um, it helped us out with some equipment for the movie, and um, which was great. And we actually shot on every. That's right, they gave us dolphins. We actually shot on every flavor of Red camera at some point in the movie. We had our original Red one. We had a Red Epic. We had Red Mysterium and the, the Dragon. So it was great. And then of course we had the most premier slow motion photographer in the entire world in the cast, so we have some phantom shots in there as well. That's right. Yes. So talk about the production, because this is larger, obviously, than anything you guys have done before. Is there anything that surprised you as far as just getting everything going or the development process? Uh, it's expensive to make a movie. That was kind yeah. of like, that was crazy. You know, I mean, it is like the burn rate on a movie is, is nuts, because you have so many people working every single day. I mean, you know, Rishi is 100 people now. Um, and I think at the time we were making the movie, we had about 70 uh, Rooster Teeth staff, and then we added another 70 just for the movie. You know, every day that we on the movie. So um, that was that was crazy, and we had to you know expand. We have basically a huge sound, one huge soundstage for Rooster Teeth. We added another huge soundstage just for for Laser Team. Um, and it was just a really big production. It was a ton of fun, and uh, a lot of people who. Uh, have worked on Rooster Teeth projects over the years, you know, in, in small ways here and there, doing fun stuff for us. We got to make a bigger part of this, and of course, a lot of the cast. You know, we had, you know, great talent like uh, Alan Colton, but we also had, you know, um, terrible talent like Bernie <laughs> and, uh, and Michael. And, uh, and, uh, you know, but it was really fun. It was really fun to have these two worlds like kind of come together. You know, and like people that that we've been fans of. You know, that we get to, you know, that were not just in front of the camera, but behind the scenes uh, to work on the movie, and then also all of our, our Rooster Team people. So it was, it was great. I felt like it was, it was a great marriage. Well, I, I would say, just I just to dovetail off that, the thing that surprised me the most, I think, about production is how smooth it was. I mean, I think, um, I've said this a few times today, but it was, it felt like you're stepping on a, like a, a senior year show, a TV show that's been around for a long time with no hiccups. Um, I mean, it seems like we finished on time every day. There was there was never any huge unexpected moments, and I think that comes down to the preparation and leadership. The fact that these guys have a lot of experience, but that's kind of what you want and what you never get. And it was really interesting to, to like come into this world and like, just a, felt like a well-oiled machine that made it a lot of fun. And I think knowing that we had that kind of time on set, um, I think you know will we'll translate on the screen. As to, uh, the, the movie's all about just having a, a, a huge adventure that everybody can enjoy, and I, it certainly felt like it was easy to deliver that. And not that it was, but uh, being a part of it, it was like this. Yeah, it was unbelievable. <laughs> sure. The set was great, and then the other day I actually got to go visit uh, the people who were doing the vi the uh, visual effects and hang out with them. And that's a whole nother set. It's a whole nother world where they're going through frame by frame and putting in pieces of smoke and bits of light. 
And I mean, people are going to be, I think people are going to be blown away with the caliber of the effects in this film. Yeah. It's really great. It's a really talented well, we're really excited to see it. Uh, just like we're excited about the movie, uh, we're at Comic Con, so we've got uh, what the, the birds from Finding Nemo and making calls outside, <laughs> helicopters going overhead, the ominous music when you were talking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you need a little bit of screen to interview. The ominous, yeah. the ominous, dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. out of nowhere. <laughs> so no, uh, it seems like this movie's gonna have it all. We're, we're really excited to see it, and I'm personally excited. I, you know, following you guys since it started. Yeah. So. It's, uh, it's very humbling to actually get to talk to you guys now, too. Well, it's so. been such a fun experience and made possible by people like you and everybody else who watch the shows and been part of such an amazing community online. They made this movie possible. Yeah. Can't wait for everybody to see it. Anything else you want to add? Anything else you're excited about that you want to tell the audience, tell the internet about? No, it's nice. I mean, this, this, this project in particular for Rooster Teeth is, uh, you know, it raises the bar for what we're doing. And I think, you know, this movie we're super excited about, but then also excited about what we're working on next and things we have. Like works right now that people don't even know about. I'm just really excited about everything the future holds. Great. I think that's a perfect place to end the interview. Whoa. Thank you guys and stay tuned for more laser team coverage at Comics Online. And helicopters.